Welcome back to <coughs> Let's Play Parasite Eve 2 and welcome to Jurassic Park. Yeah, I don't know how to play it. I was literally just sat here for like maybe a minute or two, really. I I didn't really like try to work it out too much. Just like I know how to play the one where it's like Yeah, actually, I don't really fully know how to play it. I was just like, because look at this, man. This really does, like... But, you know, like, when I think of Jurassic Park and, you know, the opening, I don't think of the one that goes... I think of the one that goes... I don't know how it goes, man. I don't think it even stays in the same key, honestly. Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, my guitar teacher recently kind of used John Williams as an example. Because, uh, remember, this is like, not last year's, the recent New Year video that I did. Which is about as recent as, like, you know, more than half a year ago now. But the one before it, where, like, I had that kind of, uh... I kind of showed him that to kind of go over it and like figure out what I was doing and the bit after that where it just kind of goes a bit chaotic he kind of gave an example like it could like be like for guitar it could be like kind of like switching key and kind of doing a diminished thing and he kind of like used John Williams with the whole And how, like, John Williams kind of uses, like, stuff like that, diminished and whole tone and, like... So maybe he's using a bit of, like, different type of scales and keys for that, and I just don't really know. Right. Nah. Yeah, I have no idea. That's probably a key change or something. I don't know. Actually, how did that one go? I'm getting carried away. Actually, Oh yeah, one more! Uh, Sword of the Stranger, because I quite like this one.
Okay, enough of that shit. Let's get on with it. Unplug. I mean, that was supposed to just be a short intro where I'm just like... But anytime I have my guitar, I always tend to get carried away. So, welcome to Jurassic Park. Oh, it's those things. Yeah, we really are in Jurassic Park here. I mean, look at that face. It even looks like a dinosaur. It looks like a dinosaur mixed with, mixed with a freaking carcass. What the hell? No, he woke up. Oh, yeah, it is these things. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I heard someone. Oh. Okay, this gun is ineffective. Boom, shakalaka. Oh. Boom. Ow. Oh. oh shit, I'm dying. Ow. Oh. Give me a break here, guys. Ah. Oh shit, I'm dying. Run! No! Oh shit! Oh fuck! No, I just realized I hadn't saved at all! I got really reckless there. Oh, that long ass fucking intro and everything! <laughs> Ruined! Ah, oh, this fucking game! If I'd known I was gonna fight a fucking wave of monsters, I would have been a bit more careful! Fucking hell, game! Throw me a save fucking point, Jesus Christ. Gonna have to go through the whole scene with Kyle again. The little shit with the fucking tour of the rainforest shit. Oh, god damn it. Ah, oh, speed up the game, this is ridiculous. Ah, fuck everything. Fuck everything, and the cutscene is like, uh. Well, actually, it is skippable, technically. So never mind, but it's still a pain in the ass on the redo shit. Thanks, Mr. Scorpion. I mean, just was reloading the shotgun, and uh, you know how freaking reloading in this freaking game is. It's like pretty much any other game for the most part, you know. Reloading takes time, and you, well, in some games, you know, you can freaking walk around while reloading. It's kind of seems to be, I uh, think, a standard in first person shooters, but this is an RPG. You can't freaking walk around while reloading. God damn it. When will that door come into freaking use anyway? Is it ever going to be opened? Ever? Probably. This is bullshit. And Rick Astley still hasn't freaking played a role in all this. Not once. La da 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 Fuck you, Kyle! Yeah, we gotta do this shit all over again. Yay, yay, yay! Hooray for having to redo stuff! Yay! We're doing the same part as the previous! Oh wait, that's a freaking save point I could just save there after doing this shit. Monitors, blah 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 No, 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 don't freaking use it yet. Blah blah blah, examine finger blah 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 tentacles. They're shooting a hentai over there, oh my god! Operate it! Operate push! It's open, motherfuckers! Why didn't we use that door before? Yeah, yeah, switch on that one! The lights are on! My voice is high-pitched and sped up! It's not spell up as I'm recording, but it will be when it's edited. The lift is on, bitch. What's in here? Oh, yes. It's the, um, uh, uh, I thought it was outdoors, but it's actually gotta be in the rainforest area, probably. The camera goes to the left, and then it's like snowy areas. I guess that's the tundra area section. And then over here we have the pyramid thing. At least I'm assuming that's what's supposed to be, although it doesn't look like a pyramid, even though I probably... Blah, blah, blah. I don't even know what I'm talking about. They don't all have to have that shape, right? Security! 
Don't really need to examine this, but I'm going to anyway. Actually, I should actually. Because it should. should uh, uh, the, the vehicle, the uh, uh, garage. No. <laughs> yeah, this actually slow down for this now because uh, let's examine this properly. Because now we know what this floor actually is because we were on it and we got our asses kicked. So we were in. Uh. We went in the forest zone. Where's the other area? Why is it just a forest zone? There was another area. Oh, wait. You can scroll. Really awkwardly. Or not. Examine. AMC zone. There's gotta be more, it just goes up to seven, but there's more than seven on there, or is there? Yeah, there is. It's like ten here, man! AMC zone, yeah, I know. Can I not click on it? Wait. Uh, that's the island, obviously. Uh, so we came in here, and I think we went either that way or this way. I'm assuming probably this way. D4. That must be it. So if we're going that way, maybe then we go down here, around here, and around here. Uh, you probably somehow get the island. There we go, right here, and unlock that just for hell of it, probably. And then go here, and then wherever the fuck is here. Because that's obviously the place to be, by the looks of it. Anyway, back to speeding up the game, we gotta get back to the port! Wait, no, 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 save first. Slow down! A near mitochondria storing organism. This is worse than I thought. This means that every moment counts now. I plan to discuss this with HQ. Do what you can on your side. Well, at least we won't have to freaking redo all that again, but we'll still have to redo everything else if we freaking get our ass kicked again, which is likely to speed up the game. You know, speeding up the game does jack shit in editing, I gotta say. I speed it up like... It's not 100% at default, but I put it like at 110 usually. And it doesn't really make much of a difference. I mean, it speeds up, but it's like only by a few seconds, really. And it may not kind of make sense, really. It's not really gonna be all that fast, I remember 10. But the reason why I don't speed up too much is because, like, then it'll just, like, be like, Ah, my eyes! Yeah! 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 I could just off screen it, you know, that'd be more, you know, reasonable. But then I just, like, I don't know. I'd kind of like lose track when it comes to recording and just be like, so what point will it be like uh, that it be a part wrapped up in one and all that? I don't know how to word it. Essentially, I feel that if like uh, I just record it and edit out a bit, I wouldn't know how long I should record because I don't know how much, how long the part will have actually gone on for with the edited out bit, you know. So that's why. Rifle ammunition. I don't think it's that way. Hey, my hunches are usually right, you know. You can't go buy no ammo now, man. You gotta deal with the shit you got. Deal with the cards you've been given. Or rather, the ammunition and weapons you've been given. La da da. It's that thing again. Hi, Mr. Alien. Bye, Mr. Alien. Ooh, shot to the crotch. Seriously, why couldn't Carl come with us? We wouldn't have got game over if he was with us. Or at least freaking give us that weapon, man. That shit looks freaking ridiculously overpowered. Well, it doesn't just look ridiculously overpowered. It is ridiculously overpowered. It just destroys everything. Hi, Mr. ANMC, or just ANMC. Oh god damn it! Still, even after all this time, I can't freaking properly run away from enemies. I just end up running forward like a dumbass. Hmm. 
Can't believe that, man. It was like five minutes of me just messing around on guitar, and then suddenly, game over as soon as I get to the actual game. It was bullshit, man. Oh, yeah, the president thing, isn't it? Mr. President, uh, we're going to uh, nuke it from our orbit or something, I don't know. That's that's how we deal with all our problems. Really, it's kind of illogical. Might as well talk to Kyle again. Yo, Kyle, you turned got own there. Does he say anything a second time? Kyle, how's your fever? No worries, it's mostly gone. Might as well, you know, slow down the game now, since we are back where we are. Kyle. Nyeh. Nyeh. Can't get enough of me, can ya? Dream on, lover boy. Okay, it's up to you. I'll keep myself busy. If you know what I mean. No, nothing inappropriate, though. Okay, it's up to you. I'll be thinking about you while I keep myself busy. Ha 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 ha. No. I didn't even comment on what he said, like, quite a while back when he, like, mentions Whoa, his interest in her or something like that. Because he clearly fancies Aya regardless of this whole situation. Might as well click on this again, choose a topic, introductions. I mean, we already have seen all this, which is why I'm skipping through it, and it's not exactly compulsory, I don't think. But it is for me, damn it! I just can't help me, man. I gotta freaking go through previous information. It's like, uh... Uh... I don't know, it's kind of optional, really. Oh, wait. We went the other way, didn't we? The other way we gotta go. Because we must go through this area of Jurassic Park first. I think, anyway. Let's switch. No, I fuck it. Let's grenade these bastards, actually. I'm not sure if we've got enough. Well, we have got a lot of grenades, but I don't want to waste them. <laughs> Saying that, I'm going to be wasting our limited rifle ammo. But hey, I ain't freaking dealing with no monsters, man. Those monsters ruined my day. Can we examine this? It's beautiful. I wonder if we'll get to fight a real T-Rex in this game. In Parasite Eve, we... Spoilers, did get to fight a skeleton of a T-Rex. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Fuck you! Ah! 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 Ow. Ah, ha, ha, oh. ha, ha. Scorpions! Oh my god, scorpions! Everywhere! Oh shit, this really is Jurassic Park. Whoa. Ow. Chaos! Oh fuck! Fuck my day up! <laughs> oh! Fuck! Please tell me it's loaded. Boom! Fuck you! Fuck you! When in doubt! Grenade the shit out of things. Heal. 
Well, I don't really need to use this now. Now we're kind of safe for the most part. Pew! 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 I hate these corridor-like areas because they're really cramped. And they always throw multiple freaking enemies at us. Well, not always. Sometimes just one is bad enough. A deep rainforest lies this way. It's odd with the desert right there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. A thick viney vegetation grows too thick to pass through. Welcome to the Savannah Zone. This zone is home to the ANMCs known as Chasers. After leaving the forests, humanity's ancestors lived in the savannah. What if our ancestors stayed in the savannah, discarding their tools, and walked on all fours? The chaser is the answer to this question. Chasers have hoof-like feet for fast movement across the plains. Their mentality is geared to support and organize herd social structure. The unique, uh, unequal success as hunters is largely due to refined teamwork. Chasers must be those horse-like things that ambushed the truck, and those things we just fought. Quite a desolate landscape. It might once have been a savanna, but it's close to a desert now. It takes the utmost care to reproduce nature's balance indoors. Impossible, really. Most expensive dry earth. You can't really control nature. Nature will just, uh, kick your ass. Why is that smashed? Glass is broken here. Amazing, it's bulletproof glass. Oh shit. Then what did that? Those horse like ANMCs that are attacking bucks might have lived here. Dry breeze is blown through. The frost will eventually dry up. I can feel the dry breeze blowing. Can we examine the other vegetation? Nope. Well, we can, but we already know what she says about that. Shrine. Ooh. Interesting. Are we going to meet the Scorpion King? Wait. How Egyptian -y. Egyptian-y? Is that even a word? Oh, puzzles. A panel with 15 marble blocks. There's one empty space throughout the block. A game for visitors. You move the blocks to solve the puzzle. Visitors? What kind? I mean, were they what? Did they want to make a Jurassic Park for the ANMCs? Ah. Uh. No. No. It cannot be! Wait. Blue. Red. Yellow. Uh, <laughs> crap at these! <laughs> oh, I don't want to! Ah, I don't want to do these ones. I'm crap at them. Ah, uh. ah. Uh. The trouble with this is, like, you, if you, like, really just, like, stopped and examined it, like, really thought it out, you could technically 
solve the puzzle before you even start it, just by predicting each movement. But you know, that would take a lot of thinking. And when you're actually, like, if I wasn't, you know, LPing this, well, I'd probably just look at our walkthrough, honestly, but... <laughs> If I were just like to try to figure out on my own, I probably would just take my time with it. But I'm freaking recording it, so I don't want to freaking waste too much time. So then I rush for it, which leads ultimately to me screwing up the puzzle completely. Gotta get red there. But the thing is, you can't just focus on one at a time. You gotta make sure everything gets in place. So these bastards have to get up there. So... How am I gonna do that? And then there's yellow there as well, so actually, uh... Screw it. There's gotta be some kind of clue. Because that's now confused me. Giant carvings. They look like Egyptian deities. A carving of Egyptian gods. Nothing of particular interest. There's a large stone box in the hole. No good, it's too heavy to move. I start to think that that puzzle is probably optional. Or not. Actually, there's a door there, so probably is. A shrine engraved well, with hieroglyphs. They are each surrounded with different colored frames. I wonder what they mean. Could it be that we've got to have all the red on top, the yellow and the blue? Wait, wasn't that how it was in its defaults? Unless they're not actually in those colors. Okay, try to remember that. Just to confirm. You sh yeah, they are. I was just like, for fish eye x crowd. Just to check if that was like actually how it was, and it was. But it's got a red going up here, so you assume, yeah, red there. But you got blue coming out here, but there'd have to be a red one there, and then you got yellow. There'd be like red there and blue there, so where would the other yellows go? I am so confused by that. It's probably gotta go in a certain order as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I hate that. Uh, if only if it was like a Rubik's cube and you could just peel the things off and cheat your way to victory. But no, it's like I can't let you do that. I'm just kind of not even bothering to think about the movements. It's probably not a good idea because that's kind of probably key to solving this puzzle. It all comes down to solving how the puzzle goes. Let's try again all blue up there. Strange lines running down across and diagonally. 
They're colored like the blocks, red, blue, and yellow. Yeah, I know, but uh, they're kind of in an odd order here. Blue on top of the world! But, uh. Yellow. Yeah, I wonder if this is like some kind of like uh, I don't know. These aren't really hieroglyphs, I don't think. But I wonder if it's something similar where it like reads out a sentence of some sort and it's gotta be in the correct order. In which case, I'd have absolutely no idea. But I have no idea either way, really, do I? Ah. Uh... Does it show the lines at all? There's gotta be a different clue around here somewhere. You can't possibly expect me to know hieroglyphs. It's just absurd. I imagine that puzzle has something to do with that. Is there a way to examine the walls? An ancient Egyptian mural. It's a description at the bottom. Place of offerings. All who seek the aid of the free sun gods. These are your colors. Red, a moon, avatar of the sun, leading all on the true path. Blue, Harahite, wind jammer of the sky, guide of the sacred waters. Yellow, Kipera, Scarab, avatar, the greatest sacrifice is the self. Place of offering, all who seek the aid of the free sun gods. Red, avatar of the sun, leading all to the true path. Blue, wind jammer of the sky, guide to the secret waters. Yellow, the greatest sacrifice is the self. Maybe blue is the sky, so it'd be at the top. 
and red would be the center, maybe? Not entirely sure. It doesn't really make sense for yellow to be over there. Are, are all corners like that? No, they're not. Huh. Maybe that one's not supposed to have anything on it. I get the feeling red is probably supposed to be in the center. That honestly feels right there, but then, nope. Uh. Trying to solve an Egyptian puzzle. I'll seek the aid of the free sun gods, these are your colors. Avatar of the sun leading all to the true path. Avatar of the sun. Windjammer of the sky. Tied to the sacred waters. Yellows. Greatest sacrifice of the self. Oh, it's so confusing. Because if, I mean, like, it says there's a sky, but it also says sea as well, right? That honestly kind of looks like water now that I think about it. Uh. 
But the trouble is, like you got these, it's obviously a hint, but at the same time you can't have it like that, can you? Unless red is red is the true path, right? So if red is all through here, would that solve it? I'm pretty sure this is all optional, so I might just be like, eh, hey, look. Even though it would piss me off if I was not able to solve it. Red all the way down. I don't get it. You already read that, though. Just fuck it. I can't figure it out. And I'm not gonna cheat, so I'm not gonna freaking look it up. Let's just advance. As much as it annoys me. Unless we can't advance. It's locked. We can't advance! Hooray! Oh, I mean, wasn't that the position it was in at the start? God damn it, I, uh, unless maybe it is, you just gotta have it in that exact order, I'm not sure, I can't remember how it started. Let's try to get red on top, yellow below, blue below, and then the other tiles, wherever the fuck they may go. That rhymes. Oh boy. Reminds me of uh, Wind Waker. I remember there being a puzzle like this in that game. Of course, in that game, it was a completely optional puzzle. You go there, 
That's like literally the only one I've memorized. <laughs> Red was on top. I mean, I can sort of actually get like one row up to a certain level kind of easily for the most part, surprisingly, but everything else just kind of falls to shit. How did I get that up there in the first place? Correct position. I think it is. Got that in the correct order. So I guess we're back to square one on that. I think the fish was the one that was over here, wasn't it? Fish. Crown, maybe. I don't know. I think we're back to square one. <laughs> We've come full circle. Oh my god, 48 minutes is ridiculous. Uh, as much as it pains me, I'm gonna look at a walkthrough, but we'll freaking solve this puzzle next time. So I'll see you next time, viewers. See you next time. <laughs>